Installing Coolify is a pretty straightforward process, but some people who are new to Linux and self-hosting have a hard time installing Coolify. I'll be using a virtual machine on my Mac Mini that runs Alpine Linux, but the installation process is exactly the same for real Linux servers. Quick warning though, Coolify only works on Linux, which means you cannot install it on Windows or Mac. You can technically install it using Docker Desktop, but it is not recommended for production. The first thing you need to understand is the minimum system requirements. If you check the Coolify documentation, it says you need at least a two core CPU, two gigabytes RAM, and more than 30 gigabytes of disk space. This does not apply to all users, and here's why. Coolify works perfectly fine on a server with lower specifications. The requirements mentioned in the documentation are slightly higher than the actual requirements. These extra resources allow users to deploy their applications without any resource constraints. I run Coolify on a VPS that has 4 GB RAM, a 2-core CPU, and 40 GB of disk space, which runs Coolify and 13 different applications. Some of them are static websites, Discord bots, and some analytics software. So, to run Coolify, you don't need a lot of resources, but the resource usage for Coolify increases based on the applications you deploy. When you deploy any application, whether it's a static website or a full-stack application, Coolify deploys it as a Docker container. To run a Docker container, you need a Docker image. So first, Coolify will build the image on your server and then use that image to run a Docker container. This Docker image building process requires a lot of CPU, RAM, and disk space. If you are using a Docker image, which is already built and uploaded to a Docker registry, like Docker Hub or GitHub Container Registry, then this build process won't happen. Coolify offers two options to overcome this issue. Either use a build server to build the Docker images there, or use something like GitHub Actions to build the image and push it to a container registry so you can use the images without needing to build them on the server. You can connect different servers to Coolify, so Coolify will use those servers to build the Docker image, which won't use the resources on the server where your application and Coolify run. So during the build time, your applications won't go down. Now let's install Coolify. For this video, I'm using a virtual machine running Alpine Linux as the operating system. Coolify runs on many different Linux distributions like Debian, Ubuntu, Arch Linux, and more. You can find the full list in the documentation. My virtual machine has one gigabyte RAM, a one core CPU, and eight gigabyte of disk space. First, I'll log into my virtual machine using SSH, then update all the packages using the update command. The Coolify installation script needs a package called curl, so I'll install curl. Next, we have to allow SSH connection to use public SSH keys and allow root login. To do this, you have to open the SSH config file using your favorite text editor. Once you are in your SSH config file, make sure the permit root login is set to either yes or prohibit password, then make sure pubkey authentication is set to yes. On your firewall, make sure to allow the following ports, 8000, 6001, 6002, and 22, which is your SSH port. You need these ports to be open to access the Coolify dashboard and other features on the dashboard, and you can close these ports after you set up a domain to access the Coolify dashboard. Once you have opened the necessary ports on your server, run the Coolify installation script. This script is available in the Coolify documentation, and you can find the link in this video's description. Now, Coolify will install everything it needs and automatically configure them as well. The installation process takes around one to five minutes, depending on your server's hardware and a few other factors. I'll wait until it is installed. I won't speed up the video so you can see exactly how long it takes for me. All right, the installation is now completed. You can confirm this by seeing the congratulations message. Here are a few important things to do at this point. The very first thing you need to do is visit this link, which is your server's public IP address with port 8000. 
Keep in mind not to close this terminal because we will come back here in a minute. If your server doesn't have a public IP address, you may have to use the private IP address shown here. These IP addresses won't work for me because I am using a different network settings on my VM, but for you these IP will work. The main reason you need to visit this link is because it contains the registration page, which allows anyone to create the first admin account on Coolify. There was an incident where someone with malicious intent found the registration page, created the first admin account, and took full root access to the server. There is a way to create the admin account directly from the install command. For this, you have to specify the username, password, and email in the install script as shown on this page. I will link this page in the description of this video. Once you have created the admin account, you will be on the Coolify dashboard. Now go back to the terminal, copy the provided command, and run it. This will display important environment values. You should save this information somewhere safe, like a password manager, because it contains the password and other details for the Coolify database and other important things. If you ever need to restore the database or access anything in the future, you will need this data. That's how you install Coolify. I'm going to end this video right here, and I'll make more Coolify tutorials like this. So, leave a comment below this video on which topic you want me to cover next.